So I just got back from seeing Kung Fu Panda 4 in Cinemark's XD that I'll talk about in a little bit later, if you will. But, you know, kind of going into this one, I was kind of wondering, like, should this movie, like, even exist in this sense? Because we have a pretty good trilogy of Kung Fu Panda movies. I'm a huge fan of the Kung Fu Panda franchise. One and two are honestly some of my favorite animated films of all time. And kind of going into it, like, knowing that the Furious 5 isn't going to be in it. You know, they're showcasing Tai Lung in some of the trailers. So I'm like, okay, like... Is this going to be a real like fourth installment into the series or is this a straight to video sequel that is just polished up and sent to theaters? You know what I mean? That's so I wasn't really too sure going into the movie. But before we get into that, I do want to go on a little bit of a side tangent here. And that is my newest video is uh, Kung Fu Panda Screen to Console. Screen to Console is a series I do on my channel where I compare the movies to their licensed video game tie ins. And we just did an episode on Kung Fu Panda that I think is great. I'm going to have a link in the description down below if you want to check that out after this review i definitely recommend it i think the video turned out really really great and i'm really happy with it so hopefully you will enjoy it if you want to check that out now on to kung fu panda 4 the film is about poe as the dragon warrior obviously when shifu returns to be like hey man you know you're getting old you need to find a successor so you can become a master of wisdom and poe's like ah oh, man i like what i'm doing <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Poe doesn't want to give up being the Dragon Warrior. Shifu's kind of pushing him to find a successor. Lo and behold, he finds a thief trying to steal artifacts from the Jade Palace. Through her, finds out about a new villain. Now, I don't really want to say too much about the villain out of the gate because I don't really want to spoil very much of this movie. Poe has to work alongside of this thief to get to the villain. And I think you probably know exactly where this is going from here. And it's very predictable and it never really steers away from that predictability either there is a lot of elements here a lot of trappings that does feel like a straight to video sequel you know disney has a litany of these things i mean literally almost like every disney disney animated movie has a straight to video sequel and they're typically a lot worse than the original and while there is a lot of those trappings we get rid of the furious five we throw them away with a really simple all oh, they're off doing other things kind of thing and the only characters we really bring back that we know is poe his dads and shifu and shifu is only in it very microscopically he's pretty much here to just be like hey poe you need to do this and that's pretty much it outside of that majority of the movie is either poe and his dads and there is a lot of screen time between the two where you know poe's on this adventure to find the villain with this thief or this fox and then poe's dads are trying to catch up to him because they don't think he'll be okay it does kind of break up the pacing a little bit where you're like all right i don't feel like we're spending that much time with the kong Fu Panda, you know what I mean? Where I feel like we're spending a lot of time with the dads. However, at that same time, the dads are really fun to watch. They have great on screen chemistry on screen chemistry together. The characters are really fun. And it's just cute too. It's just cute that they're like co-dadding out there in the world, stepdad and real dad just getting along and helping what's best for their son. And that's that's kind of heartwarming and nice. Outside of that, I gotta be honest with you, even though it feels like a polished up straight to video sequel, this would be like a banger straight to video sequel because it does feel tonally akin to the other Kung Fu Panda movies. The humor is on par with the rest of the film and the series. The action is great. There's some great stylistic choices when it comes to the actual action set pieces, even though those action scenes are far and kind of few between. But there's one scene in particular of Ko Po goes through the floor and there's a big fight scene he has to deal with uh, I know you know has to deal with there's a big fight scene and there's this really kind of stunning black and white almost silhouette fight scene there that I thought was really cool and really enjoyable there are just a lot of just fun moments and even though the film is really predictable some of the set pieces are just a lot of fun and can have a lot of funny moments as well one thing i really enjoyed was there's actually a instrumental like wood string cover of crazy train that was actually really cool of how they use it in the film and really fun it was just kind of like a nice little like toss in aquafina plays Jin, the fox that accompanies po throughout the film and this might sound rude but like why are why are we casting her in everything for animation she's almost always the weakest part because she plays the same thing every single time like if we can hark on chris pratt for doing that why can we not do it to aquafina because she's doing the exact same thing and while i do think this is one of her better roles that i've heard from her in, ter in terms of voice acting i still was just like that's i never saw the character I'm like that's just aquafina e every time like 
it's just Aquafina. To me, she's one of the weaker parts of the film, despite her character being a fairly good character. I just wish we could have got somebody else, honestly. Now, I did go see this in the XD theater in uh, Cinemark. I've never done that before. I didn't know what to expect. We caught a matinee, and I was just like, hey, you know, what's this? And I first off, I got this cute little popcorn bucket that's Poe. Uh, I'll throw up a picture <laughs> real quick. And we got the uh, Kung Fu Panda slushies. And the slushies were good. They, were, they weren't like overly sweet or anything like that, which is nice. But the popcorn bucket I thought was just going to be that little bowl but he's completely hollow and they pack that thing in there actually holds a lot of popcorn but like I'm not gonna lie like that's the best 20 bucks I've spent in a while that thing is so freaking cute and will now be my a popcorn bucket like I will use that every time I make popcorn at the house from here on out until it literally falls apart I love it they actually had a bunch of different popcorn buckets we we go to this Cinemark every once in a while we don't go to it a bunch because it's about an hour away but we decided to go to this one to see Kung Fu Panda and we went to the XD theater to try it out. And while the screen wasn't really anything different, I don't know if it was higher resolution or not. I didn't notice anything really different as opposed to the other times we've been there with the screens. However, the sound in this XD experience was phenomenal. First off, there's like 35,000 speakers around the wall in that place. And I'm just like, okay. And when you actually, when it actually like the movie's playing, it's so detailed. You can hear everything, every bit of the sound design, just going around the room. Everything feels leveled and even and if everything like packs a punch you know when there's like you know that real impact you can really feel it and while i didn't think the screen provided much anything else i was really impressed with that sound design or should i say sound system that i would probably actually go see other movies in this xd experience like if it's being offered because it was pretty cool at the end of the day kung fu panda is one of my favorite franchises and maybe i was primed for kung fu panda 4 obviously being excited i got the merch i bought into the capitalism of it if you will i mean just look at that popcorn bucket right but outside of that i did really enjoy the film i think it is a spiritual sequel in a way it does have a lot of trappings that feel like a straight to video sequel i wouldn't be surprised if like that wasn't maybe the original intention intention like let's let's do a peacock original sequel <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> to advertise for peacock that wouldn't really surprise me however it's a damn good one like if this was a Disney straight to video sequel, this would be up there as like one of the better ones. I did really enjoy it. Now for me, it is my least favorite of the trilogy. I'm giving the film a seven out of 10. I did really enjoy it. I would totally watch it again. I had a fun time with it. To me, the trilogy is one, two, three, and four. It goes literally right down where one's a 10, two's a nine and a half, potentially a 10, three is an eight, and four is a seven. Now, however, I do wanna say this, my wife had a bit of a different opinion. This is actually probably her second favorite movie. And I guess I'm going a little bit out of order. This is actually her second favorite movie in the franchise because of the villain. And I gotta agree, the villain in this movie is awesome. I don't wanna say too much about the villain or what it is or anything like that. I kinda wanna look the film do that for it but not only is the villain a self-reflection of poe and terms of like it's a intimidating threat for poe to overcome but also it's an emotional threat for poe to overcome as well and spiritual and because of that you have this awesome fight this awesome like boss fight with the villain but also on top of that is you get to see so much character growth from poe and basically the rest of the cast that's here as well and that's awesome it's really really good but also just on top of that is the villain it's pretty clear what their motivations are this series have had just awesome villains through the entire thing this one not to say anything about it is it goes right up there with them honestly it's a super rememberable villain that really helps carry the film in terms of the weight of the film and i really enjoyed it yeah it's a seven out of ten i enjoyed the movie it's a seven out of ten i'm gonna quit rambling if you want to support me there's all the links down below definitely check out that screen to console on kung fu panda i think that video turned out really great and i'm really excited about uh just about it existing i don't know i don't know what i'm rambling on about i'm out i'm, I'm leaving i'm leaving i'm gonna go eat popcorn out of my po bucket and watch the troll movies. Bye, everybody.